There are five reasons why nicotine can be good for you. Hi folks, this is Brian with another Windy City Cigars video. And in today's adventure, we're gonna be discussing nicotine. Yes, that's right, I know nicotine has a bad reputation, but surprisingly enough, it can have some health benefits. Now, I know you're probably thinking, but Brian, isn't smoking bad for you? Eh, you're not entirely wrong, but there are some upsides to it, like a lot of other things in the world. So sit back, relax, light one up, and hear me out. First off, nicotine could help fight Parkinson's disease. Now, some studies have shown that nicotine might actually help protect against the brain damage that occurs with Parkinson's disease. It's like a little hero for your brain. You see, when we smoke a cigarette, the nicotine gives us a hit burst of dopamine when we smoke. It provides a reward or pleasure, which is why smoking is addictive. But dopamine does something else. It can either prevent or reduce uncontrolled movements like the tremors experienced by people with Parkinson's disease. In fact, even at this time, a large trial being funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation is underway to investigate this very effect. Second item is the fact that nicotine can enhance brain function in people with cognitive decline. Now, like me, are you starting to forget where you put your wallet, your car keys, or your cell phone? <laughs> if so, nicotine has been shown to improve attention, memory, and cognition in people with mild cognitive decline. So the next time you're feeling a little forgetful, maybe light up a cigarette, relax for a minute, and maybe that'll help. Third, nicotine might help with depression. Now, I'm not saying go out and start smoking if you're, if you're feeling depressed or feeling down. <laughs> But there is some evidence to suggest that nicotine could alter some of the cortical network activity in your brain to allow you to be less inward looking and look more outside at what's going on around you to reduce your, your depression. Uh, also, a nice smoke break is a good way to de-stress and just to uh, relax in general. A lot, a lot of people feel there's nothing better than a perfectly rolled cigarette right after work to, uh, as a friend of mine would put it, help cool yourself out. The fourth effect is nicotine could enhance your attention or your sense of attention. Now you know how they said that soldiers in World War I and II needed tobacco just as much as bullets? Well, turns out they, they could be right. Paul, let me borrow that ball from you. <laughs> nicotine has been shown not only to calm your nerves if you're anxious, but make you more alert if you're feeling drowsy. That's why some people like to smoke a cigarette with their morning coffee. It gives you that extra oomph to start your day. And hey, if it worked for soldiers who are under some fairly stressful situations, it could certainly help you out. Now fifth, but by no means on our list, is the fact that nicotine can help athletes with their performance. Now who would have thought at, uh, nicotine would be a secret weapon for athletes? But it's obvious that if you've got a better short-term memory and better reaction time, that can give you an edge in team sports and nicotine can provide that. Plus, nicotine is still considered legal in the sports world. Now, an analysis of 10 studies conducted in 2017 found that athletes who use nicotine actually performed a bit better. Now, that might help to explain why uh, baseball players are constantly chewing tobacco. They say it, it prevents help, it helps prevent dry mouth and promotes their relaxation and helps their concentration. So there might be something to that. So there you have it, five somewhat surprising facts or factors regarding nicotine and how it actually can be helpful for you. Now, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much.